Okay, in today's video, we are going to compare the power output of two different people as they run up or walk up, let me say, we run up a flight of stairs. Okay, now this I think is one of the more interesting things to look at with power. We have two people, different masses, and they run up the same stairs at different times. We want to know who has a greater power output. So we have two students. We have Billy and Susie, and they run up a flight of stairs that is 4.5 meters high. Billy has a mass of 77 kilograms, and he can run up the stairs at 5.2 seconds. Susie has a smaller mass, 63 kilograms, and because she's smaller and actually is quicker, she can run up the stairs in 4.1 seconds. And we wanna know who has a higher power output. So all we're gonna do is calculate the power output of each person and just compare one to the other. Remember, our power equation is that the power is equal to the work divided by the time. We know their masses. We know g, the acceleration due to gravity, is a constant, 9.81 meters per second squared. So therefore, we can calculate the force times the distance, which is work, and divide that by the time, and we'll calculate the power output first for Billy, and then for Susie. We'll apply the same equation for both of them. Okay? So, we're going to say for Billy that his mass is 77 kilograms. The acceleration due to gravity, so we can calculate the force that he has to apply to lift his body up 4.5 meters. And he's going to do that over a time of 5.2 seconds. And we're going to do that for Susie. She's going to take her body, 63 kilograms, also multiply that times the acceleration due to gravity to get the force she has to apply to lift her body up over the same distance and divide both of those by the time. So now we have here the work that Billy does divided by his time and the work that Susie does divided by his time. And we're first just gonna calculate and compare the amount of work that each of them does. You can see that Billy, because he has more mass, he does more work. Susie has a lower mass and she's raising that mass up over the same distance, 4.5 meters, and therefore she does less work. Billy obviously does 3,399 joules of work when he lifts his body up. Susie does 2,781 joules of work when she lifts her body up. But power is how fast you do your work, and you can see Susie does her work faster. So now we're going to divide the work divided by the time, and you'll see that Billy's power output is 653 watts. And Susie, you'll notice, even though she does less work because she has less mass, she does it quicker, and therefore her power output is 678 watts, and she has a higher power output. Okay, Billy does more work. Once again, you can see Billy does more work, but Susie does her work quicker, and therefore her power output is greater than Billy's. All right, so there you go. That's how you compare the power output of two different people or two different machines or motors, whatever it happens to be. Calculate the power for each one, the work divided by the time, the work divided by the time, and get the power for those two. Okay, so there you go. I think that's pretty straightforward. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below for this video. So let's see, the next thing would be to give me a thumbs up for this video and then subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent math, physics, and chemistry videos. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.